Mech power up detected. First seen in action during Operation Revival by Clan Novacat, a Draconis Combine officer named it Noborinin, Japanese for banner bearer as it reminded him of the ancient samurai who wore their banners on their backs in feudal Japan. That's some next level weeaboo stuff so we will refer to it as its proper name, the Huntsman, which means sick torso mohawk, or torhawk for short. This 50-ton clan Omnimech is a jack-of-all-trades and master of fun. Acquired. Not a jack-of-all-trades, but a jackass. Jack-of-all-bums. Okay okay, a jackass and a jack-of-all-bums. In likeness to its medium brother, the Stormcrow, it can run several combat roles and builds ranging from laser vomit to missile spam. Both of these types are high damage with high heat. Great stuntmen pilots remain unseen as they are most likely cool enough behind the front lines and move into strike at the proper time, bad punsmen pilots overextend and get themselves shot from overheat shutdowns. Should you find yourself with an idiot on your team, it gives the enemy something to shoot at. Something that is not you. So take advantage of the opportunity. A Don Cement does what the Storm Crap cannot do, jump and have high mounted weapons. Jump jets for combat maneuvering and pop tarting over cover to deliver that sweet high alpha strike into the red team's dumb face. It makes for an optimal sniper and fire support at the cost of armor and tonnage in comparison. If you are the kind of moron that couldn't run a Storm Crow effectively, then pick up a Huntsman and go eat glue in the back. And if you want armor, go buy an inner sphere mech. Consider those downsides but it does not lack in opportunity. Every arm and torso omnipod piece has some variant to mount whatever you prefer. Call it your Swiss army knife of mayhem with 24 tons available for weapons and equipment. Nearly half this mech's weight is firepower. Weapon placement does not limit it to a sniper role but it is also nice to have hard hitting ballistics mounted in the side torsos. As it is with all mediums, your job is to hunt and kill lights tickling your assault asses. You are become the butt touch insurance they need but not the butt touch insurance they deserve. Why does it make an effective light killer? You ask? Well if you'd stop asking dumb questions, I'll get to that. Due to the special angular chassis design, the hitboxes confuse the small minds of pilots trying to shoot you. The angles have magic bullet deflecting perks rendering it immune to machine gun bullets. Now go and take that piranha down. Lights are your friend. Overwhelm and single out opponents with cooperative tag teaming to take tonnage off the scoreboard faster than the French running from a conflict. When you are not killing speed demons, you are flanking the enemy. Leave the punishment in the front of the pack and stay away from the tip of the spear. Armor and speed are not your best forte and feels like piloting more of a heavy than a medium. Big shoulders are fantastic in the hands of pilots who got the memo that torso twisting is, in fact, a survival tool. If the hunter's dude cannot help you learn how to torso twist correctly then I don't know what will. 
Now that you scum buckets have the obvious spelled out for you, Torhawk the red team of choice with your overpriced Swiss Army knife of mayhem. Enemy 